Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Skillings Career Series. So today we have an interesting question from Prachit Kumar. This was asked or posted on our YouTube channel. By the way, you should check out our YouTube channel if you want to get personalized uh, career guidance and also check out some cool videos. So coming back, the question is very simple. Prachit Kumar's question is, hey, if you have a M.Tech degree in India and if you want to get into a design engineering profile, right? So what do you need to do? Right. So that is basically his question. And this is a question that a lot of students ask. So this time we are going to break it down. See, if you are a fresher, right, and you completed your MTech, then in order to get into a design field, uh, you know, there are primarily two types of jobs that you can tackle. And I'm going to assume that you are a mechanical engineering student. The same thing is going to apply for aerospace as well, but things might slightly change. If you're a mechanical engineering student, who has completed MTech in India and you want to get into design fields, the, the majority skill the, or the main skill set that people look for is plastics, knowledge in uh, plastics design and knowledge in sheet metal applications. So let me give some examples. Let's take automotive industry in India, right? They hire a lot. If you take General Motors or Ford, the cars that they make contain plastics and sheet metal components. So a plastics engineer is responsible for designing these plastic components. Right. So when they when the automotive company releases a new model, you know, there are there's something called as a carryover program where you take the previous CAD models, it could be plastics or sheet metal, and then you make new changes to it based upon whatever requirement is. So plastics and sheet metal. So if you basically know how to design sheet metal or plastics, you can get a design related jobs in an automotive company. Now, what type of company is it going to be? Well, that depends upon your GPA and your profile. We have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description box below, right? So uh, what are the tools that you need to learn? Well, you need to be highly familiar with CATIA V5 and NX. So when I say highly familiar, you need to have previously designed plastic sand sheet metal components. And here is where there is a gap. In your university, you are learning CATIA V5 but you're, you're just learning the tools. You know how to press the button, you know how to extrude, you know how to create a ruled surface, but you don't know how to create a plastic component, right? You don't know how to design a BIW component and that skill is what is required. So this is kind of a chicken and egg problem, right? So in order to get a job, you need those skill sets, but only if you have those skill sets, you will get a job, correct? You, you can apply for it. So how do you solve this? Well, you will have to take up courses where you can actually learn the skill sets. Uh, where can you learn it from? Well, definitely check out skilling.com. Uh, we do have courses related to these topics. I will link those courses in the description box below. So Prachit, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for this question. Uh, I hope uh, you found the information useful. Do pass this information on to your friends uh, and I think they will also get benefited. All right, that being said, uh, this is a new series that we are starting. So if you have, uh, if you need personal guidance regarding your specific profile, all you need to do is very simple. You need to subscribe to our channel. You need to like this video. You need to comment your question below in the comment section. All right. Thank you. Bye.